Hey everyone, welcome to the first weekly update of the 2023-24 school year here at ADE, the place to be, and now the place where you belong. So we have had a successful start to our school year. I know it was so early and I know everybody kind of felt like, oh, we were kind of getting rushed in here. But after a great orientation where students got to go around the school with their parents, so many supplies were uh, given out and went home. So many um, snow cones were eaten and just good memories were made. But then you came to school the next morning. And I've told everyone, one of our main things is we need to be on time. And m almost everyone was. So remember, those of you who are on time get special prizes like B tokens for students if you're on time every day for the week and um, parties for the class that gets the most uh, bees in their hive. That means, and you get a bee in your hive by having everybody in the class be on time for the whole week. And also, students with no tardies at the end of the month will get their name put on the big wheel that'll spin on the morning show and we'll give out prizes to those names that are picked. So that is uh, just one of the fun, exciting things we got going on. But I love the start of the school year because it's that time to make new friends. It's time to see some old friends. It's time to just take that opportunity to fresh start talk to one another students make those new friends make those new connections and it all starts from learning from one another you don't know how much you have in common with someone or how much you might like that person until you take the time to go up and talk to them and i know it's hard sometimes but that other student may be just as nervous about talking to you as you are about them and you just never know who's going to turn into a lifelong friend so parents let your students make your children make new friends. Let them grow. It's always a new beginning, uh, the beginning of the school year. So I had the pleasure, and I mean this, of going into every single class and talking to every single student uh, yesterday morning. And I made it to most classes today, but every single class yesterday morning. And I feel like that's just important as a leader of the school to see every single student. We're able to talk about some of the ways that I believe they can have a successful school year. And that's by exhibiting the three traits. And students, if you're watching, you should be able to say them because busy bees are respectful, responsible, and ready to learn. And that's what we're all about here. School is for learning. And we also talked about another really important thing, which is how to be good listeners and how listening is not just hearing what someone says, but doing what they say. And that's really important. Those are just some of the keys to having a successful school year. So we talked about being on time. We talked about being respectful, responsible, and ready to learn and what those mean. And we talked about how listening is not just hearing, but doing. So my heart is always full when I get to spend that quality time with students. And I am just hopeful for our future. In fact, I'm more than hopeful for the future of the school. I am fully confident. We have the best students, the best staff, the best parents, and the best community. We've had so many community partners, uh, faith-based partners, businesses, reach out and answer in a big way uh, the call that I've given many of them to help our school. Uh, and you can check our Facebook page. I don't want to start listing them all right now. I want to keep the video short. Check our Facebook page to see some of the donations that were made to our school. Uh, and I'm just so happy that we have such a great community. Parents, I will tell you now, if you want to volunteer, go on field trips, anything like that during the school year, now is your time to go online to the district website, sumterschools.net. Scroll down on that right side and click on volunteer application. Fill that out, that'll cover you for one school year. So one calendar year, I mean, 365 days. So even if you did one in the middle of last school year, go ahead and do one again. So that way we can uh, get you ready for this year. You don't wanna wait till the day before a field trip to fill that out. You wanna do it now. 
Um, if you run into any problems, you'll want to call our volunteer coordinator and bookkeeper up at the school. That is Miss Michelle Ressler. So give her a call or give her an email if you run into any problems. Last thing, upcoming events. Pre-K and kindergarten start next Thursday. That's always exciting. I know that's hard for um, moms and dads and grandparents to let that child go into kindergarten, but uh, I assure you, we will take good care of them. We do every year. That's next Thursday in the first grade Teddy Bear Parade is next Friday at 9 a.m. If you're a first grade parent, look out for information from your teacher uh, about the Teddy Bear Parade. That is a tradition. All right, busy bees, that's all I have for you. Let's remember that we are always respectful, responsible, and ready to learn. Have a great weekend.